Hello, this is Code and Solder, and in today's long-awaited episode, we will start designing our own soldering iron, compatible with Hakko's T12 tips. This video series is sponsored by EasyEDA, an easy PCB design and manufacture site. First, the parts chosen. I picked the T12s because of the widespread availability of cheap handles, integrated thermocouples for precise temperature regulation and high power. The downsides are a significant price of the tips and the thermocouple mounted in series to the heater, complicating the readout. To painlessly read the thermocouple, we will use Maxim's Max 31856. I chose it because of the high precision and simple design requirements. It can also tolerate the higher voltages that will be required to power the tip and communicates via a simple protocol. For the user interface, I decided on a large ST7920 based 128x64 LCD and a simple potentiometer to set the temperature. This provides both good precision and fast intuitive input. To get the 24 volts required for the tip from a more available voltage like 12 volts, I will be using one of those popular 150 watt step up modules. Because all the devices run on 3.3 volts and not on 5 volts, we will use a Maple Mini clone to control the project. We will generate the 5 volts for the screen backlight using a cheap step-down module like this one and 3.3 volts using the stabilizer on the Maple Mini board. Because of the low logic voltage, we will use two MOSFETs with a half-bridge driver to charge their gates. Driving both the low and the high side allows us to use the Maxim's chip to its full capabilities while not adding much to the price. After some searching, I settled on two FQP30NO6Ls and an IR2110 because of their great capabilities, low price and high availability. So, let's get designing. First, we connect the Maple Mini power pins. Next, the amplifier with connections as per datasheet, connecting the SPI pins to the IRM's SPI2 pins and the others to any other digital pins. I also found a great post about the driver, explaining in depth the design considerations and requirements. After copying the half-bridge setup, we just need to wire the input to one of the PWM pins on the Maple Mini. Now the display. The documentation is pretty sparse and unclear, I wired it according to the datasheet for the chip found here. The serial has been connected to SPI1 for simplicity. The excess power of the STM32 should allow us to solve any potential problems in software. At this point, I accidentally came across this seemingly abandoned project. It started with the same goal and ended up with a nearly identical solutions. I adopted the simple MOSFET driving circuit from it, allowing me to use one less chip and get rid of the 12 volt power rail. I added an LED to show the heater state, a pull down for the potentiometer, and some resistors to the screen where the documentation was not clear. After fixing some simple mistakes, we are done with the design part. Next time we will design and order a PCB. All links, as always, are in the video description. Please share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe for more cool electronics videos.